was spoken about uh, the concept of change, uh, what is the change, uh, the objectives, uh, gaps, uh, how to measure uh, basically KPIs, uh, and also uh, the key to successful change management, which is actually taking into consideration differences and how people can react to change. Uh, I will talk about specifically uh, res uh, resistance to change and how to succeed in uh, the uh, next videos, but now I'm going to focus on planning. In fact, in order to succeed when managing change, you need to plan. We now have basically uh, our objective, so this is going from point A to point B. We need basically to plan how we are going to go from this situation, which is the current one, to the desired situation of the future. So in order to go from A to B, we need to plan. It's actually quite unwise to leave change management to chances, thinking that everything will fall into place automatically. It's very unlikely that it is going to happen. So how are we going to manage change? Fundamentally, we have to uh, create a roadmap. So we have to create basically different blocks, different tasks and activities that have to be implemented in order to get to the right. Uh, result, so the, the result that actually we want to achieve. The secret is to be flexible. Even when we are actually planning the different tasks and activities, these are not set in stone. So it's very important to be um, detailed, but at the same time be prepared to uh, basically situations that uh, may actually steer <laughs> ourselves in a different direction, at least temporarily. So. What are the steps that we will have to follow and that we will analyze when dealing with change planning? The first step is to plan the different activities or tasks that have to be put in place in order to manage change effectively. The second step is to determine the resources that we need in order to carry out those activities. Now, resources can be in terms of individuals, but also we have to manage resources in terms of costs, in terms of budget. The third step is to determine how long it will take to uh, complete each phase, so basically the time frame. It's very important when we are planning change to be detailed enough but not to be nitpicking. So for example, you know, we can divide the activities in chunks of days and in basically going through, you know, for example, week commencing uh, you know, 17th of uh, um, June and on and so forth. So basically what the activities will be on a daily basis who would be the resources that will carry out those activities and also the costs that are associated to that. It's also important to uh, um, determine the dependencies amongst those activities and basically to determine the phases of the project. It's not uh, uncommon to hear completion of phase one, completion of phase two. So basically what are the dependencies amongst the different tasks and activities and when they will have to be completed. It's also important to uh, assess what the contingency plan would be. As I said before, we need to be flexible when dealing with change and uh, it's uh, mandatory, to be honest, to uh, assess also the worst case scenarios. So what we would do if this doesn't go in the right way. Of course, uh, if uh, uh, the change manager is particularly experienced, uh, it will be much easier for him or for her to determine contingency plans. So basically, how to react uh, to situations that may occur and that actually steer away from you know, the, the linear plan that we have determined and actually how to react in an organized and in a proactive way, so actually not be caught by surprise. It could be, of course, that the contingency plan will not cover every single opportunity or eventuality, but it is very likely that it will cover most. 
Another element that we have to take into consideration when planning is actually politics. Uh, politics uh, is unfortunately an element that uh, uh, is not taken into consideration when dealing with planning. Uh, and if you don't know how to navigate the politics and how to get the right level of authorization, will actually change. It can be very hard to implement. So it is an element that we will assess and it actually has to be considered at the very beginning. If you remember in one of my previous videos, I spoke about the sponsorship map and in particular, basically the identification of individuals that can be a little bit, uh, I would say, uh, challenging <laughs> when dealing with change and actually how to deal with these people, again, in a proactive way. There is no point in being aggressive. Actually, if you are aggressive and basically you go just like, you know, front and you know, less like scream in someone's face, you will not obtain anything. So actually it's how to navigate the politics in a proactive and skillful and intelligent way. Thank you so much for watching.